Hello everyone, Obi Van Dam here and welcome back to Let's Play Lords and Villains. In today's episode, we have two things to do. First of all, we are going to we are still waiting um, for our masons to arrive. So we need to prepare our house for the Mason family and also a work spot. And second, I am I would like to um, move the um, the bakery. So I really like the T-shape of this house and this uh, attachment, so to say. It, it just looks a bit weird. So I would like to have the bakery somewhere else. And um, I'm not 100% sure where. Um, actually, I am. So what we are going to do is... Um, for this house over here, we're going to edit this. We'll remove all of this space. And instead, we are going to give you that. So now, what we can do, um, you can have a wooden block right here. And then we can cancel these. So we can salvage all of that. That should be fine. And then we can bring over the bakery to this spot. There should be enough room for that to to do that. I think so. Um, yeah, let's just see if we can fit in the entire structure we have over here uh, in this gap. Uh, so we need wooden walls. Oh no, we planned on cop walls this time. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I want this door to be somewhere around here. So we need two, then the door, then another two. That's the central part. And then we have three. Yeah, perfect. Just like this. With that. Um, and then this will go all the way to here close off over there and then we will have a door right here here and here and speed through the night real quick i think i would also like to have this fence removed and instead um, add wooden fence to here. There's the family arriving. And then we'll get rid of this. Okay, so now someone is deconstructing this stuff. Um, let's slow down real quick. Let's add back all of that. I think we are going to need, let's make this the bakery zone first. Uh, bakery right here. This is going to be bakery. Um, yeah, I also want to have these ground storages. Like right here, remove this. Um, and then this is going to be public space. Yeah, way better. Okay, so now we have this right here. We can uh, delete this zone. Yep, entirely. And now we also need to make sure that they already started building stuff. That's bad. So let's remove all of these zones. Let's cancel. All of that, and then we need to deconstruct the well, the walls. What's this? Might be, <laughs> might be nothing. Okay, so this is the bakery. So we will assign this to the Baker family. Fifty percent socket as usual, something like this. Um, and now we need to bring in. Yeah, all of the furniture. So we'll need ovens. 
and we will go with three of these again. We will then have the cooking table right here, and we will have, what else do we need? We need a wooden block as expected back here. We will then need uh, ground storage. Wait, where's the wooden block? No idea. Uh, I want the block to go. Yeah, the block should go there. And then they will also get ground storage like this. Um, they will also need a well, which they will get. And I think another ground storage potentially in here. And that one is just for grain. So we'll change that. Then we need a storefront like this and a shelf right here. And I'm just thinking about maybe um, let's remove the ground storage from here and instead add a bunch of ground storage to this area. And one more shelf right here. So that's our bakery, which is looking good. Um, everything from here is gone. So now we need, now we need a space for the Mason. Okay. So where do we have space for the Mason? The city is getting pretty crowded. Um, there's some space right here. I'm not sure if that might be a bit too far off. Oh, well, that's another farmer family that's managing all of this area. Hmm. <laughs> we have a warehouse that's nowhere near the center of our city, which is kind of bad, I think. So with the bakery right here, if we put the the masons in here, they need to carry this um, the stone a far, far distance, which is kind of bad, I think. Yeah, this maybe it would make sense to move the pig pen down to here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. We'll do that. Um, we'll edit this zone all the way to right here don't need more foragers this is a giant really a giant giant um, forest area but that's okay um, let's see what do we have two two feeders okay so let's do walls we need the fence back like so And then we'll have the fence gate right here. We are going to add two feeders to this side. And then we can deconstruct all of this. And we can also salvage all of that. Let's spin things up. Let's take a look how big the mason workspace needs to be. Um, professions mason consumes stones and limestones. It needs a wooden block, a ground storage and a storefront. That's it. Well, that's not much. So maybe we can just add, maybe we can just do something, something like this. We'll add a wooden block right here. We'll add a bunch of ground storage right here. A storefront to this area. And then just give that thing
something like that. Just a tiny, tiny area for the mason to work at. Um, we sign a mason fa family, 50% sockage. We'll set 50% sockage for everyone um, as soon as everything is set up. So now we have enough space right here. Let's edit the zone. Let's get rid of all of this. And now we can add um, another household. Which can cover almost all of that. And we will give this to the Mason family. Um, oh, that should be this one, right? Yes, do this. They have six people. Oh, six people means we can use one of the layouts that I prepared. Let me quickly check my notes. No. Um, and I think, yeah, it, this, it's basically the same housing that we have down here, but a bit shorter and without a second bedroom. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll use cop again. Um, we'll start right here. Go over by three. Down by two. And then four to the side. Then three, four, five down all the way back up here there which means we also need to give all of this to you that's fine um, and then we are going to need two doors one new door will go there one door will go here uh, furniture you will get look at wooden beds we'll have two for the children right here We'll then have two wooden double beds for the parents and the remaining two children right there. They will get a chest, 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 right the chest over here, uh, right there. Potentially the cabinet right here, which they are not using right now. Um, they will get the wooden block right in front of this and then couple of ground storage sitting right here that's fine they can use the public well so now all we need is the cooking table which will go right here the cauldron right here barrel and shelves right there and then they are going to get a wooden table right here surrounded by chairs just like this okay perfect house done uh no house not done let's activate roofs so you can see we don't have a roof on this house we'll use plated roofs that uses wooden rods we don't need wooden rods for anything else at the moment so we'll do this this is being done this Ah, oh, we can't do this yet because they need walls first. Okay. Oh, also. Oh, we don't have a roof on the bakery. Well, that's bad. Let's add this real quick. Like that. Okay. And now. Another miner. Now we don't need miners yet. We have one miner, and that has enough to do already. Um, we changed the windmill thingy. Okay, so that's good. So I guess now all we have to do is wait for a tailor to arrive. And let's also look. We need more grain. Yeah, I think we need to change the priorities for this farm. Um, soil it, it just says grain 
We have rice grain. So regular grain is just made from, I think, wheat. Um, yeah, let's also remove barley and rye. We don't need that. We just need wheat. We want to get bread production up and running. So let's just do um, as much wheat as possible. Um, and then once this is out of plantable season, we will take a look what we can use instead. I'm not 100% sure. It would be great if we can have, if, if we could get something like a tooltip over uh, of the different crops that would tell us which season they are plantable. Um, that would help because I want wheat whenever there's nothing, uh, whenever we can grow it. And then just something else for the uh, time we cannot grow wheat. So that that would really help, um, but it's fine. Um, they will grow vegetables over here. We will also get fruit from up here. Let's see. There are apples already lying around, so they should harvest them immediately. Oh, we also need cheese. We have one year left until we need cheese. So maybe having another farmer might actually help. Um, or we need to change the amount of, let's see, animals. Um, well, no chicken are coming, so that's fine. Maybe we can just go to four sheep. No, let's, uh, uh, let, let's keep it that way. That's fine. Um, we can, I think we can remove the chicken feeder some reason there's no chicken over here um or we can we could also just ignore the cheese thing <laughs> maybe we don't need that it's not like there is a huge penalty at the moment for for not fulfilling what the king is requesting um so let's see what our people are actually up to they are um Let's see. Okay, something is sold out. Let's take a look. We have straw, we have stone, we have wood, we have planks, we have grain. So we are out of wooden rods. That's that's awesome. Let's add 500. That's fine. Um, let's see. We have the mason available right now. And he's already working on stuff, which should... Yeah, so I think we can change. Oh, first of all, you need more more area to mine. Let's give you all of that real quick. And all of that. I'm, I'm still not 100% sure that having a finite um, mining resources is anything I like. Not, not sure yet. Um, but let's take a look at um, the ownership. So this is 50% sockage, which is fine. The mason is 50% sockage. That's also fine. Um, yeah, we are on stewardry for the... Um, for the royal forests still. So let's give this 50% sockage. We'll do 50% first just to get a um, potential even for a year, maybe, I don't know, just to see where the families end up with their, um, um, with the stuff they own. Because if you look at that, we are now at 20 gold. So we basically have all the money. Um, this is on stewardry. So we will do this on Sockage as well, 50%. Um, I think the farmers should be fine. They are on 50% Sockage. And they are as well. Which means it's just this royal forest that's on Stuartry. Well, we'll do you to Sockage as well. Oh, wait. I don't know, what was that? Sockage, 50% side. Okay, so now we should see that um, 
everyone should start to buy and sell stuff on their own. Um, we do have a storefront for the mason. So that's great. Oh, what is he doing over here? Stone tiles, stone, stone blocks. Um, yeah, the day's already run, uh, gone. I think the days are too short in this game at the moment. Um, in my opinion, they, they could be a bit longer. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I feel like. I'm also regarding um, the items that are being taxed. I was told that in the next update, um, the families will no longer use up material that is reserved for taxing to the king. Um, only exception is to prevent um, starvation. Um, and I also would like to check something. Is it possible that the ground storage is a non-blocking item? So can we do something like this? Uh, let's also go to walls and deconstruct this and instead put in put in a fence. Yeah, they can they can walk on the ground storage. So we don't need to keep space for the ground storage. We can just plunk them down as we see fit. Also, look at all these barrels. <laughs> look at the amount of food we have stored in here. That's crazy. Only thing that's lacking is uh, is drain, actually. Um, so this family has nothing else to do except for... Well, collecting apples and... Growing rain. Well, there's someone sleeping on the ground. You are the Baker family. Which is which one? The Esteny family. That's right here. You are eight people. And you have... Well, there are enough bats. You're just not sleeping in your bed for some weird reason. Well, if you feel like camping, go ahead. No problem. So let's continue. Um, let's see if the Baker family... Right here, let's take a look at your belongings. How much money do you have? You have four gold, so you should be able to buy gold blocks. And I think the Mason family um, there are some stone blocks so let's see market presence um, they want to purchase stone blocks wait a second um, Let's see, they make one stone into four stone blocks and then one stone block into four stone tiles. So do we need tiles at the moment? I don't think so. Um, yeah, maybe for the moment, let's stop making tiles. I just want you to create blocks. What do we need for stone walls? The stone walls need blocks. We need bricks for that. I think just the, the stone floor, that needs tiles. Yeah, but we don't want that yet. We just want blocks so we get the ovens up and running. Okay. Yeah, the Baker family is, has a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, but they have long, really long travel distances. I wonder if someone actually... Oh, there's the first oven. Ooh, nice. 
Wait, what about the miller? Did we, did we set the miller to suckage? Yeah, we did. Okay, so they should be able to buy that. You know what? Um, we'll go to the warehouse. We should have some flour. Yes, we have. And we don't need that. So we can just grant that to the Baker family. I know that this will lower the income of the... Um, um, of the Miller family, of the Tibbon family. So let's take a look. They want to sell potatoes and, and cabbage and they are looking for cooking ingredients. Yeah, maybe what we can do is we can just grant some, um, some carrots and some parsnip. We can just, just grab that. We can also give you all the grain. We don't need this. So we can grant you all of that and that should be fine. Um, something is out of stock. Oh, it's grain. Yeah, uh, because we don't have any. So let's remove this. That's perfect. We cannot just sell all the rest. We still give away um, straw for free, which makes no sense. I think we can do this. Uh, someone is starving. Who is it? Um, the foragers are starving. The Fitzgerald, okay. Yeah, they were uh, living on Stuart Tree, so that should be um, fixed any second. But never, nonetheless, we can just give them some food. We have enough. Uh, let's see. You will get 100 blueberries. You will get a smelter family. No need for that yet. 200 of that. And 200 potatoes. Like this. What can we do with rice grain? Um... cooking table can we see the recipes for food um, cooked ingredients okay so we need the cauldron to cook stuff first one ingredient and water will make one cooked ingredient okay so let's take a look at the tutorial book there's there's something about food cooking over here so let's see do we there's rice grain okay so rice grain and corn um oh this is good for a, a good meal so pastry or grain which means either bread or rice grain slash corn so we should have some pretty good meals um we can also start maybe selling the rice grain we, do we need it for anything we need the regular grain so that's fine we don't need the rice grain so we can just no, not, not grand. We can sell that rice grain. 300. Um, this. We will sell rice grain. Okay, looking good. Let's speed up. And I want to see the first bread being made. Oh, are you manning the storefront? Ah, damn it. Okay. Uh, storefront. We want you to be like this. So someone should come demolish this one. Yeah, like this. Ah, uh, look at that. The oven is baking almost winter. I wonder if three ovens might be a bit much. It looks like they have a hard time um, Maybe it's because they are still working. I'm just wondering if maybe uh, maybe three ovens is too much. The bread takes quite a, a long time to cook so maybe if someone is constantly making dough three ovens should be fine. I don't know the ratios yet. family uh, that that would be leather we don't have leather yet we would need a butcher first for leather um, so we have a lot of stuff to to get our hands on 
Okay, the, the mason is continuing with its stuff. Oh, a child was born. Uh, the canoe will family has now five people, so we need more bats. But that's not a problem because... No, not straw bat. Let's actually do uh, wooden bats for them. Should have enough wood. Wooden bats. Um, and we have enough room for two additional bats in the giant bedroom over here. It's a pretty large house, actually. Okay, so let's take a look at the roof. Yeah, there's no roof over here. So let's add that plated roof. Um, roof over here is in construction. And roof over here is not done. Okay, so now they should be almost done with the bakery. And then they should be starting to make bread in great quantities. So that's the floor. Oh, I still forgot flooring in the doorways everywhere. I think that that should be basically every um, every single doorway. Oh, we did it over here. Another fisher. We need lots of fish. But we don't have the tailor yet. So if we have another tailor. Child was born. Another villager is starving. Um, that's the fits. Yeah, that's the other. Um, um, the other foragers. So you will also get some food. Don't worry. Uh, you will get 200 carrots. You will get... 40 rice grain and 200 potatoes. I can also give you 50 melons just in case you want that. You need the fish, you need the grain, you need the corn. Oh, look at that, we have 20 bread. That's awesome. Okay. So, you are making bread. Getting firewood. There's some grain. It really takes some time to make the dough. Look at that. Okay, so now he's making bread. Let's see. She's making more dough. And bread is now done. Yeah, look at that. We don't we don't need all of this. What we um Let's let's think this through. We might be able. I'm not sure if the if there is enough space. Uh, we might be able to have two workbenches and two ovens, and that should be that should be enough. Um, or maybe we just need one oven and one workbench, and then just some more storage. I'm not trying to percent sure. How do we do that? Um, let's see. We could also, we have enough room over here. We could also make the dough and yeah we could make all of this right here i like that let's go to production or let's go to yeah let's deconstruct everything first we'll deconstruct all of this we'll make this the storage room i like this let's speed up i want to get this out of the way yeah that should be perfect um we do need some more ground storage right here come on do your stuff deconstruct everything well done um so now we'll have ground storage right here right there 
And then over on this side, we will do two cooking tables, one right here. And uh, not right there. Wait a minute, cooking table, stop that. We need one, one more tile. Let's add cob wall right here. Salvage this wall. Yeah, add plated roofs on top. Speed up the game. Oak planks. Just like this, okay. And now um, we will do two cooking tables and two ovens just like this and then in this area I'm not sure but let's add all of this storage right here um, mostly gold and basic material this can store beer. This can store other different stuff. The cabinet. It can it can store tools. <laughs> a bookcase cannot store anything yet. I have a shelf. The shelves can store bread, yeah, but we have shelves over here, so we don't need these. Um, yeah, so maybe. We can make this, we can just do that and then deconstruct all of this and then, but then we can have the roof go all the way to here and then we'll salvage. Oh, just need to stop building a wall right here. Maybe that's something. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. No. Um, I think it makes more sense to have um, some open space inside here. That looks way better, definitely. So let's do, oh, we already have floor be below that. And uh, we are also at the end of, uh, oh, okay. So that wasn't completely wrong. We need this space. Oh yeah, we cannot reach that at all. That's, that's totally correct. Um, I screwed that up. So we need the wooden beds to go right here. Let's turn them just like that. We'll have two additional beds right here. That's fine. Um, yeah, and we are at the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.